All right, so we're with Amy Piper, and she's <laughs> how old? 34. Okay, and she's part of the bar staff at Sidetrack. So tell us what kind of person you're looking for. Well, it's not that I'm really looking for anybody because I think I've learned that when you're looking for something, you don't find it. And when you stop looking for it, it just shows up, if you're lucky. Um, but I, just, I like people that are easygoing, easy to talk to, like to laugh and have a good time, like to hang out with friends, like to do silly things, but still like to get dressed up every once in a while and go out and have a nice dinner or a nice date night or something like that. So somebody that can find like really good balance and like special time and fun time because I, I work in a bar. Fun time is very important to me. It's, what I do for a living is fun time for right. people. And I never really get sick of it. So it's hard for me to go home. <laughs> right. Because right. I'm always having such a good time. <laughs> but uh, I like people that, you know, like I said, are easygoing, that kind of know what they want or at least like what they do, with they're happy with what they do. I don't know. People that kind of got their shit together, I guess. You know? Got it. And, but still are a little nutty. Cool. All right, so tell us, what did you do on your last day off, or what do you typically do on a day off? Um, if I can get myself motivated, <laughs> I'm going to just clean up my house a little bit. Uh, I like to go on bike rides. I have a, a, a vintage Vespa that I like to uh, take care of and maintain, and I like to go on rides when I can. It's, I call it, uh, her name is Betty, and it's, I call it 35 miles an hour of therapy, so that's about as fast as she goes. But I like to do that. I have a couple dogs that I like to hang out with, uh, friends that I like to hang out with. I go out to lunch, I go out to dinner, I go hang out where I work. So it's just okay. like to, you know, play with my ear, do whatever. Cool. Okay. How about the last good movie you saw? I saw this really good, weird movie called Otis about this guy who was obsessed with his brother's girlfriend in high school. And so he would kidnap girls in the I'm, I like horror movies. He would kidnap girls in the neighborhood and just kind of torture them and make them speak in ways that they were his girlfriend and that they were gonna go to prom with them, even though this was like a grown man, and he would put them in scenes and it's weird, I know. <laughs> put them in scenes and scenarios where he, like she was a college, you know, the high school cheerleader and he was a football star and he would make the girls say certain things to him, like, just tell me how good I ran that ball, Kelly. And <laughs> so it's like, even though, you know, and he would call the girls' parents and make them try to, he would talk to them, like, I just want to, your acceptance that I'm going to take your daughter to prom, I just want to know that it's okay. It's, it was really weird, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Entertaining. It sounds like it. <laughs> So, how about the last good concert you went to, or last good album you bought? Um, the last good album I bought uh, was uh, The Ting Tings, which I, was one of the best albums I bought in a long time because it was just like good from start to finish. There was no like song in the middle of the album that was kind of crappy. And I saw Tegan and Sarah the other day, which they were great, the opening band was great, the guy in the middle was a buzzkill. <laughs> And it was, I was in hit or hell. It was crazy. There was like everywhere, like asymmetrical haircuts, <laughs> skinny jeans. And so like, I finally, somebody tapped me on the shoulder, and it was a couple of the guys, the customers that I knew from work. And I was like, hallelujah, there's some gay boys here. So finally, I felt like I was the oldest one there. So it was, it, was, it was a great concert, but I felt like it was one of the few times that I actually felt like I was way out of my element. Yeah, right. So. <laughs> Um, okay, so Obama or McCain? <laughs> hmm, Obama. Okay. <laughs> um, beer or wine with food and why? Depends on what kind of food. I think if it's pizza, then definitely beer all the way. Perhaps blue ribbon in a can is, is, is what I drink. I'm not that fancy of a girl. But dinner, red wine and cocktails for sure. That's, if you're going to do it, might as well do it. Right. And lastly, so how about describing your first date, your ideal first date? Where would you like to go? What would you like to do? I get really nervous really easily. So I think ideal first dates for me are always like hanging out with friends, like getting friends together. 
I think that way it's just a little bit more comfortable for everybody. Because two people who don't know each other first time can be a little awkward and tripping over words and stuff like that and maybe getting wrong impressions. But when you see people like in their element and doing what they do and talking how they talk, like they were around their friends, is, I, find, I just find that to be a little bit better of a scenario for meeting people for the first time. So would you invite her to come hang out with you and your friends, or would you go... Either way. Either way. Either way. I, I don't always say a whole lot when I walk into a room full of people I don't know, but I'm not opposed to it at all. I mean, it's kind of walking into work every day. You never know what you're walking into. Right. If there's going to be regular customers there, or if you have to try to make new customers by talking to people you don't know. So I don't have a problem with that. Whatever. Okay. So I'm mean, such a whatever kind of person. It's kind of hard to answer some of these questions because so much of it depends on people and situations and right. stuff like that. So well, I think you did a good job. <laughs> Thanks.